roll up, roll up, take your seats and enjoy, for we have quite the treat for you today. This is Ollie here at visordown.com, wishing you a very warm welcome and to introduce another brand spanking new motorcycle to Lustover. Say hello to the all new 2022 Yamaha XSR 900, the latest generation of the Japanese firm's popular retro roadster and one of the big players in the growing sports heritage segment. This is a big unveiling and one not many were entirely expecting. One that dips deep into Yamaha's heritage, overhauls the design while adding a contemporary twist to appeal to a new generation. And the result is rather spectacular. Now, you may be thinking, how can you redesign a motorcycle that already has a classic look and a silhouette dictated by the two wheelers of the past? Well, since time marches forward, Yamaha has brought the retro era of reference forward a bit with the XSR 900 by adopting a decidedly 1980s retro finish. Why is that? Well, because the 1980s was long enough ago to be classed as retro in 2021, which makes me feel really quite old. Thanks, Yamaha. Adopting a more neo-retro approach than its predecessor, the XSR 900 offers a cleaner, straight-edged finish and livery inspired by Yamaha's race bikes of the 1980s. With this more minimalist approach designed to encourage buyers to get creative and customize it to their own vision. The more compact muscular appearance is made possible by the modern interpretation of Yamaha's Delta Box frame and chassis design, which shrinks the bodywork around it to create not only a fresh appearance, but a sturdier and more rigid riding experience without compromising agility. This means the Yamaha XSR 900 should be more involving to ride in the bends, but still refined and composed while cruising. Under the skin, the XSR 900 benefits from the platform borrowed from the sister MT-09, where the CP3 889cc triple cylinder engine offers greater power at 117 brake horsepower at 10,000 RPM, plus greater torque of 93 newton meters at 7,000 RPM. Designed in the spirit of Yamaha's fabled Faster Sons philosophy, while the true definition of this perhaps depends on your interpretation of it, the aim is to present the XSR 900 as something of a blank canvas from which buyers can select from a range of accessories to make it their own. Nevertheless, if you don't want to get bogged down in color swatches and added costs, then the standard issue XSR 900 offers some immaculate attention to detail regardless. This includes race style filler cap, drilled fork caps, an LED tail light hidden beneath the seat hump, aluminum 10 spoke spin forged wheels and sculpted fuel tanks, plus the eye-catching large circular single LED headlamp up front. It's all finished in a multi-toned blue livery that pays homage to the Yamaha Grand Prix race bikes of the 1980s, which we think is rather fitting in the glow of Fabio Quartararo's brilliant 2021 MotoGP World Championship title win a little more than a week ago. If you're treating yourself to a bit of a holiday in Milan in a couple of weeks, then you'll no doubt get to see the Yamaha XSR 900 up close and personal for yourself at EICMA. But if not, then keep it locked on vicedown.com because we'll be getting our first ride on it very, very soon. While I can only assume you already do, if you don't, then please like and subscribe to the Visor Down YouTube channel. And why not pop along to the website, visordown.com, because we are run ragged with various unveilings, launches, reviews, and more. And we really, really wouldn't want you to miss out. Since I can hear you typing that URL in as we speak, I shall bid you adieu and say ciao for now.